Hallelujah. But you know, each computer is works different. Yeah. So at this time we're gonna have our video presentation. Then after that, we're going to go into our theme speaking today. If you look at your program, Amen. the theme is what? Are you what? Ready to work. And we have two speakers today. They Amen. each have five to seven minutes. Amen. Amen. And whatever time is left over. I'll give it, and if not, we'll go home. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Ephesians, 
We're going to read a little bit. Because I want you to be ready to work. Ready. Amen. And we all got things we do and we're ready to work. Amen. I can get up at 1.30, 2 o'clock and get ready to go to work every, every morning. <laughs> you know, say, but that's a different work. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about Christ's work. Christ. And when you're working for Christ, if you found it, let me know. Amen. 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 If you found it, Ephesians chapter 6, and we're going to start at verse 10. And it says, finally, my brother, but I'm going to add this in there, our sister, mm -hmm. be strong in the Lord yes. and in his power of his might. Yes. Put on the whole arm of God uh -huh. that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yes. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, uh -huh. but against principalities, mm -hmm. against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual weaknesses in high places. Wherefore, take upon you the whole armor of God. Now, to put on the armor of God, you got to believe who God is. All right. Bless him. You got to know who you're working for. All right. Mm -hmm. And you got to put the whole armor of God on. Amen. You can't just come in there halfway. All right. When you clock in to go to work, you're ready to do that job or, or that, that they're paying you for, right? Amen. I don't whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes you don't have to be paid. Yes. You just want to work. Amen. We got a lot of volunteer work. Mm -hmm. When you work for Christ, you volunteer. Amen. Yeah, he pays you. That's right. <laughs> you getting paid. Uh -huh. When you're doing work for Christ, you're getting paid. Yeah. He's paying you. Yes. But the work, it says here, Wherefore, take on the whole of the God, that you may withstand the evil of the day, and having done all to stand. Therefore, having your lungs grown about you with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shine with preservation of the gospel of peace. Mm -hmm. You can't be ashamed of the gospel. All right. Mm -hmm. You can't work for God and be ashamed of who he is. All mm -hmm. right. You got to let people know who you work for. Amen. Who sent you? Mm -hmm. God said, look, tell them I sent you. All right. <coughs> Amen. When he, when he told them, when they were on their way, and he said, listen, this is the first time God tells them. This, this is how awesome God is. Uh -huh. He tells them, he said, listen, I have some work for you to do, and there's going to be some men that I want you to meet. All right. And God had already was seeing it. People got there. God had told them in the dream, that I'm sending somebody to you. All right, all right. What no surprise. No surprise. God, God told him. Mm -hmm. God said, I'm going to send somebody to you. Come on. Mm -hmm. and when this person comes to you, you are to accept them. Mm -hmm. And they did exactly what God did. Yeah. Accept them. But what I want to talk to you really about is, are you ready to work? Are you ready to work? And when you get ready to work, let me tell you, when you're working for God, there's going to be things that come against you. Yes. That's why you have to put the arm of God. Amen. There's going to be things in your life, there's going to be problems, because God had problems. His, his problems are small. <laughs> you know what I mean? He really don't have problems, but we look at it as problems. But God had a lot of trials too. A lot of non-believers. He sat there, fed 5,000 people, yet people yet didn't believe who he was. We got people today who still don't believe he did all that. We got people today that don't even believe who he is. Amen. But we, 
as Christians, if we put on the whole armor of God and stand up against, because we're going to be tried. Say, we're going to be tried. Let me tell you, I've been tried. Say, it ain't been an easy walk for me. Say, and I know it ain't been an easy walk for you. No matter what come at you, if you love God, you're not going to lose court. All right. I mean, I didn't have some terrible things come at me. Mm -hmm. So I thought they were terrible. Yeah. But it wasn't so bad as time went on. You know, I didn't have some pain I ain't told nobody about. I didn't face death. I ain't walked away from God. I didn't face trouble on the job. I didn't face trouble with my children. I didn't face trouble with my spouse. I didn't face trouble. I ain't walked away from God. I'm yet here with God. Hallelujah. You don't have some trouble with God. Listen, when you decided to work for Jesus and you declared and said, I believe, I believe, yes. then the work has begun. Hallelujah. It's not always going to be easy. It is not always going to be easy. And I ain't been smiling every day, but I tell you what, I had more happy days than I have sad days. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's good. God ain't never let me not want for anything since I went to work for him. Mm -hmm. well, you know, I might lose a, a job over here, but God opened up a door over here for another job. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You know, I didn't go I'd have been to two, wait, two third, this is my third company since I've been my walk with God. Let me tell you how awesome God is. I'll tell you. When you're working for Him. The last time, they told me, oh, well, we're shutting down and I'm only going to be here. You're only going to be uh, at the two weeks from now. If you stay on, you get your service paid, but we're closing down. Mm, my God, my God. That week, that Friday, that Monday, I had a job. This is what God will do when you work for him. Yeah. He do these unseen blessings that, you, you know, these unseen blessings, he open up doors, he make a way. Yeah. And ain't no trouble too hard for God. Yeah. None. Ain't nothing impossible. I don't care how bad my situation might have seemed with me, I stuck with God. Yeah. And I'm still here with him. Amen. And ain't nothing gonna turn my turn me away from God. Amen. Look at Job. Now Job, he had a terrible thing. He had all the things. He lost all his family, his kids, his wife, his wealth. But he didn't. He didn't turn away from God. When you're ready to work for God, that's what you have to do. You have to be determined. See what the end's gonna be. Yeah. No matter what come against you. Yeah. What do God have for me? Yeah. You know, thank and we have to be determined to stand up and say, uh-uh, no, I'm not gonna be moved. I don't care what kind of trouble come at my way. I don't care how they how somebody look at me. I don't care if they don't speak to me. I ain't gonna turn away from God. You know, I, mean, I look here. Don't let nobody push you away because you got to put on the whole, whole armor of God. Yeah. If you got your armor plate on, you don't. You're not gonna just be pushed away, no slightly out of the way. Yeah. And prayer. We all need prayer. Yeah, yeah. We all need prayer, and we ought to pray for one another. Amen. Amen. We have to pray for one another. Amen. I pray for you. You pray for me. We pray for everyone. Yes. You know, say, it, it, it's, we're in a time now where things are so terrible out there. Yeah. You look around, it's desolate everywhere. Yeah. It's never been like this. Mm -hmm. It's never been as bad as it is now. And this is the time that God needs his workers. Amen. He needs you to stand strong. He needs you to stand strong no matter where you might go. Think, no matter where you at, you have to stand up strong for God. Remember that God's got your back. Yeah. I don't care how rough it gets. 
God had been through some things, and God has been right there for me. Right. When I thought he wasn't, he was right there before me. Yeah. When I didn't know him, he was right there for me. Yeah. You know, and so, I, you know what I mean? I know who he is. Yeah. Yeah. But my message today is, I want to reach out and touch someone who don't know who he is. Yeah. And I want to let you know, you need to be ready to work. In order to be ready to work, you got to put on the whole arm of God. Yes. Yeah. You got to be ready, because if they're going to try, you're going to be tried. You're going to be tried. And folks will try you. Family members, church members, they will try you. Yes, they will. Mm -hmm. But you got to have a made up mind. Yeah. And say, I'm going on. Yeah. You can't let, if they, if they tempted God, done all this stuff to God, what makes you think they won't do it to you? They beat and whipped him and did everything they did to make him turn away. Did he deny him who he was? No. Mm -hmm. Why should you? Never be afraid. Young people, don't be afraid to tell people at school who you represent Christ. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to let someone know who Christ is. Yeah. And, you, and listen, we have to tell people who Christ is. You can't just keep it to yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been blessed. We've been brought up under good leadership. Mm -hmm. We talk values. And then you know what, Saint? We can't, there's another verse in there that says, in, in, in Jeremiah, was, let me find this, because you know what, Saint? We can't act like foolish people and because God, God, God gave us eyes and he gave us ears. And we can't act like we don't see what we see and not speak about it. Because you're not helping no one. If you see your brother and sister in Christ or anyone out there, if you not say anything, would God want you to do that? Ask yourself that. What would God say if he saw this? Would he speak? Am I to hold my peace? No, we should speak. Because we have the whole arm of God. Yes, Lord. And we can't just let anything go. That's not acceptable unto God. As individuals, we have to do our part. Christ, he wouldn't be pleased. We can't proclaim to Christ and not do, not take upon what, what is right. But I read into the scripture in Jeremiah. It was a little bit before ours, Justin. And I'm, this is going to be my last scripture.